I asked a question to ChatGPT, added a backstory for better context, mentioned the tone I wanted, and even attached a document for it to analyze. And obviously, ChatGPT understood it all perfectly and gave me a great answer. But how did it understand all those different elements so smoothly? That's exactly what we're going to explore in today's episode. And welcome to day five in our 50 day challenge of learning Gen AI in the easiest way possible. Today, let us decode the concept called multi head attention, which is a very, very important topic. Remember how I said transformers can connect any word to any other word instantly in our previous video. Multi head attention is how they do it. Think of it of having eight experts reading the same sentence. Each expert looks at different things to focus on. One focuses on grammar, other focuses on meaning, other focuses on context. All eight heads work simultaneously. So here's what happens in the back end. When you type, Apple released a new iPhone, but it's expensive. The model splits your input into eight parallel attention heads. Each head has its own query, key, and value. Think of them as different colored highlighters. Head one might connect it to the phone, pronoun resolution, Head two recognizes Apple as a company and not as a fruit. It's called the entity recognition. The magic, they all compute dot products between queries and keys to create attention scores, basically calculating how much should each word pay attention to every other word. These eight different perspectives then concatenate and go through a linear layer to combine insights. So this is how it works in the back end. This is why ChatGPT understands context so well. Without multi-head attention, AI would be like reading with tunnel vision, seeing one connection at a time. But with multi-head attention, AI sees the full picture instantly, making responses coherent and context aware. That's why it never confuses whether you're talking about Apple the fruit or Apple the company. That's it for today's episode and I hope multi-head attention as a concept is clear to you all and I'll see you in the next episode.